Welcome to the Black Gay History Channel. Please share this video and subscribe to this channel for more captivating content. In our next edition of Black Gay Spaces, I had to highlight Houston Splash, Houston's premier Pride Weekend event catered to LGBTQ people of color in the U.S. For over 20 years, Texans and Southern LGBT citizens have gathered in droves to Houston's specialized club events and their popular beach party in May every year. There are many staple activities throughout the weekend, some planned by the Houston Splash organizations, while others have just become word of mouth events that have persisted throughout the years. In 1995, Houston Splash started out as just a friendly annual trip led by community activist Derek Miles and his friends that eventually expanded into the regionally significant event it is today. Growing up and coming out in Texas myself, I look forward to heading up to Houston for Splash Weekend, enjoying these parties and pride events several years in a row. With friends and former partners, we as well as many other LGBTQ citizens from the Texas area and the many other surrounding states packed up for a road trip and stayed with friends or in a hotel for the weekend. The Friday night events usually consisted of a night of dancing at a splash hosted club venue where we would inevitably gag at incredible performances and competitions between J-set squads. At the close of the night, nearing 2 a.m. and 3 a.m., there would be a full-fledged house and ball competition one of the few reputable balls thrown in Texas at the time. Seeing the incredibly gymnastic J-Set performers dance and the electric atmosphere of the ball is definitely the highlight of all my Pride experiences. Houston Splash brings a crowd of roughly 7,500 people to Houston every year. And after a night of partying, a non-hosted event many attendees are familiar with is heading to the Houston Galleria on Saturday morning and afternoon for some shopping, brunch, or lunch. Because so many Pride attendees head to the mall on that date, many attendees dress their best in elaborate colors and celebrate their pride in their fashions, leaving many other Houstonians confused as to why on this date there just happens to be so many black LGBT people roaming the mall. I'm not kidding. Every year it was hilarious seeing their astonished faces wondering why all these black gay couples and visibly queer people were overtaking the mall. After another night on the town and other specially hosted club events, Sunday morning is when most Splash partygoers packed up and drove an hour and a half outside of Houston to Galveston, a smaller beach town which hosts the annual beach party where Splash would get its name. In a tailgating barbecue fashion, Pride goers would camp out and cook their own food on the beach, play volleyball, and of course go swimming. Another highlight of Splash is getting to oogle at the creative homemade beach costumes many of us created for the event, which again became a staple of Splash, getting to take pictures with the most creative, and of course, the most revealing swimwear. Though I haven't been to Splash in so long, and I'm sure some things may have changed because of the pandemic, Houston Splash has got to be on your list of Pride events to attend. Houston Splash has become a nonprofit and has collaborated with other organizations in the Houston area like Loud Inc. and the AIDS Foundation Houston to address the needs of the Black LGBTQ community outside of Pride season.